there guys, I'm Chris Bowden and welcome to the Geek Group. I'm here with Trevor Kenyon and the Tesla Coil Project of Childlike Wonder and Merriment. That's what I'm calling it this week. So, you went and got our nylon bolts, yep. which you actually cannot get at boltdepot.com, but we got these locally. Okay, but you can get all the other bolts you want at boltdepot.com. And you didn't get the things. The, we, need, we need the things. I wasn't able to order them yet. Okay, they you're going to order those today though. Yeah. Because I was going to be, I was going to do that and then the top load. Yes, yeah, so I'm ordering them put today. Put the whole thing together. I'm ordering that and, and the, the rest load. of the nuts and stuff. Now today. it's all out of order though. Now we got to do the top load and then the thing. I, I can't work under these conditions. I'm sorry your load can't wait. I know. This. It's a thing. All right, so today we're going to use, what is that? <laughs> Aluminum tape. I told you the end came undone because it was hot outside and my car was hot. Okay, we're just, we're just going to get rid of that part. This will be for you. We'll come back to this. Great. Okay. I just want you to know that it's coming. Better then. Okay. This is neat. I've never seen it in a box before. So we've got dryer duct in a box. <laughs> that looks like a spring. There you go. All right. So you're going to need some dryer duct. This will work just fine. You enjoyed that. It's neat. And there's a tag I'm on. easily entertained. And we'll just set this right up here. <coughs> this is a bike wheel, just a regular front bike tire. You want a front one, not a back one, because the back one will have the sprocket and all that. This is all you need. You can swipe one off your sister's bike. She's not using it right now. Now how are we going to get this to stay on here? What? This. Okay, you ready? Yeah. This is one of those high dollar Is it just going to sit? Now watch, watch, watch. Well, I didn't no, know if it, you needed to fasten it just, on. Just watch, watch. It stays. No, no, God, see, you got to be careful. It's really hard. You got to get it all lined up. But just. It stays. See, it's, that's all you got to do. Because you're going to want to be able to take it off. Okay. Okay. For service and repair. There are user serviceable parts inside. Now let's make sure we have enough of this to reach around. Here, you hold that I side. bought the size you told me to. So. I just told, I didn't tell you to buy a size, I just told you to buy a length of it. We're gonna go make sure we have enough to go all the way around. Hang we on, hang on. We have enough, it's just, okay. it doesn't wanna stretch. We'll say we have enough, it's just gonna need to stretch a little bit. And as we put it on, we'll stretch it. Okay. So, here. But that's, that's the effect we're going for, is this just establishes our outer radius. Because the shape we want to make is a toroid, <coughs> which is a $5 name for a donut. Okay. Okay. And <laughs> it really is. It's, it's a donut. Um, now, now it, toroids know. have two numbers to establish your, your toroid. Okay. You have the outer diameter, which is the distance from here to here. That's right. your diameter. And then you have your cord width. Right. Or the, the thickness, and that's that's here. So that's going to be almost. I think we might not have enough, and I it's going to be really funny if we don't. Um, these are our special toroidal clamps for the stuff. I'm not even going to use these because that's what we have cheap electrical tape for. The only thing you really got to worry about when working with the cheap dryer duct. And this is the cheapy, nasty dryer duct. Yeah. Um, the good stuff works pretty much exactly the same. You could argue that the good stuff's a little bit better, but eh. Just pop this right on here, like that. Hang on. Are you, are you cool? Yeah. Are you comfortable? Are you? I'm, I'm groovy. Good. Childlike wonder and merriment. So much for the real name <laughs> of it. <laughs> All right. You hold that side and I will lace this as I go. Okay. Yeah. With a helical wrap. You want to pull just enough where it doesn't crush because it will crush 
Yeah, I know. A I, lot, just, I just want to make a sure. A lot more easily than okay, you would yeah, think we initially. Do. We have enough. It's just going to be really tight. Well, that's exactly what we want, so we're cool. Kind of figured. All right, you ready? I don't know. I don't know if I'm ready. This is pretty intense. It is, man. I'm scared. I bet you are. Hold me. Later. Hey, we made it. I'm, I'm gonna do a little extra right here. Go fold it. Fold it that way. Yeah. Want me to stuff it in or no? No, no, just get them touching and even as close as you can. All right. So you wanna have overall <coughs> as, are you having a hairball or something over there? No. Okay. Overall, you want to have it as smooth as you can get it. Um, the absolute best thing is a uh, spun aluminum toroid, but they're <coughs> very expensive. What, what is a spun aluminum toroid? Uh, you I ever see the big is. polished toroids on Gemini? Oh, yeah. It's a okay. spun aluminum toroid. Spun is it's, it's the manufacturing process and how it's machined. Okay. And what's the difference between a toroid shape and a um, just like a spherical shape? You can use spheres. Um, the big difference is the top load, the top load serves two primary functions. One, it's a capacitor. It is? It's, yep, it acts as a capacitive load for the Tesla coil. This is one plate of a, of a capacitor. The air is the dielectric, and then the ground or everything else in the damn room is the other plate of the capacitor. Okay. Uh -huh. um, and that's, that's important. If you change the size of the top load, it will change the tuning of your Tesla coil. Because the top load forms a capacitor of a uh, RLC circuit combined with the secondary, because this is wired in series with the secondary to RF ground. So that is a tuned circuit. So is at, so there is a wire connecting this to the secondary. Yeah. Well, the top of the secondary. See how it comes up and over. Yeah, and that, that wire. That'll touch this. Is that just going to like tie to this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And now, how do we make it so this does not become a breakout point? Uh, I don't know, we'll get crude. Cut it off? No, it should be fine. Okay. It, it can be a problem, it depends on what's going on. I mean, we'll, we'll worry about that when we get there. I'm really glad my teacher gave me extra time because otherwise this is due tomorrow. Yeah? Yeah. We could have it done tomorrow. If, oh, no, we can't because you didn't get the parts. Well, yeah. Well, well, you know what? The place I need to get the nuts no, and the the nuts from Nobody is cares. closed. Nobody cares. I care. Thank you, Corey. Alright, there you go. I'm gonna drop it. I'm not gonna drop it. Okay, I might drop it. Alright. It's reasonably round. It's kinda hypnotic. That's right. Oh, no, it's messing with my eyes though. We'll be back right after this. It. I have a really, really bad temptation just to shove my head into it while it's spinning. <laughs> okay, now that's good video here. It won't hurt, really. There, you feel better? It didn't hurt. It gomer. <laughs> All right. Just messed up my. No, it didn't. Mess now up we've got. So we we've got our bicycle wheel without and that a tire. Came undone. And it came undone, but that's okay. We have a lot of aluminum. Tire. Well, yeah, you're gonna hold it like this. <coughs> and. Now we have aluminum tape, and it has writing on it, but it doesn't matter. The writing won't affect it at all. But we're going to take here, and we're going to want about hey Chris that much. Yeah. You realize that there's a covering on it, right? A covering on the bottom. Wow! Can you explain to me how aluminum? I thought tape you were works? trying to tape it. Can you, hang on. There's. Okay, then what's this side? You know, you suck. You really do. <laughs> I mean, I know I'm not like. I thought you were trying. I'm not to like tape a it. science dude or anything, but can you explain to me how tape works again, please? Where's the? Can you find the seam? I can't I find it. I don't it know either. where it is. It's here. It's here. It's here. That's there. It. Oh, you okay. go. Okay. <laughs> wow. All right. Hold still. 
and you bring it all the way around and then lay it in just approximately. You want to do not fold it down. You want to just lay it flat and it, it'll sit on some of the spokes, but it won't sit on all the spokes. Now, are we okay. wrapping this entire thing in this? We're going to do the whole thing, one piece at a time. <coughs> this, is, this is a job of patience, okay? Great. But I want to work out a really good approximation. Hold that right there. Why don't we just tape the I'm, diameter, not the radius? Huh? Why don't we just tape the diameter, not the radius? The diameter? What? We're just taping the radius. Yeah. Why don't we just do, do the diameter just tape, at a time? Like all the way across the yes. front? Why don't we? Okay. It just seems Because you don't, you don't want to have, I, I honestly don't know. I hadn't really thought about it. Do you have any idea how many years it's been since I've done this? Not even one. Not since I was a little boy. But I want to get a good length. Okay, here, let go. All right, that is about the length we want. So we'll just start tearing off pieces at about that length. I don't know why I need to put this down. You can set that down. I'll set it up. Do that. Here, start stacking those up. <laughs> and we're back! All right, for reasons nobody understands, the dog is helping. Omni's supervising the making of this coil. It's because she taught you everything you know. She did. How many do we have? A lot. A lot? Do you think we have enough? Huh. I have no Looks idea. like it. You want to give it a shot and see yeah. where we end up? Might all as right. well. We can't need too many more all if right. we don't have enough. We'll start here because we've got the dog supervising, so we'll be all right. Why you got to be so mean to that dog? I'm not the one. Ah. Hi. Are you helping? All right, grab the thing. Here, you oh. can have you can that. Here. I didn't know where I put it. Hi. We're, we're going to do the, second, the, the top load now. You got to move. Omni. <laughs> now Pete is going to be writing. It's like, you're abusing that animal. All right, so do you want to just like go like this across the top? Okay. We'll work out. I think if we do that, we're going to use twice as much or something like that. But I really, no, I should be about the same. No, because right, if, yeah, you, if yeah. you wrap it around, it's the same Yeah, as it's, this. It's, it's fine. So. Two radii is a diameter. Radii? Yes. Radii, radii is radius, plural. Radii? Yeah. Three, Three syllables. Yeah. Radii is radius plural? Yes. You sure? Quite positive. You're quite positive. OK. Thumbs up for radii. Radii. I think you may have invented your own version of orientate. All right, so this is before. You start with the wheel. You, you get the dryer duct, you put that on with electrical tape. And when you wrap it, that's after, okay? And you just keep adding tape and you smooth it out. You don't want to like really smush it down, but now that you've got the whole thing, you, you just glide it down. And this is, did you get the spoons? What are you doing? Yes, I have the spoons, but they're sitting in my room. Sitting in where? My room. You don't have a room here. Not here. Your room at home. Yeah. So not only did you not get the all thread, you which you the told me to get two days ago. That was two days ago. The place is closed. Okay. You told me at like ten at night, and the place is closed. On this isn't my problem. It was two days ago, and we need it today, and it's the day of the video shoot. Well, I thought we were doing these today. No, we're not doing those today. We're gonna do this today. Clearly. Yeah. I have no idea why his voice just went up like three octaves for just. He didn't tell me today. I was like, <laughs> I need nylon all thread and three eighths. Oh, yeah, it has to be nylon. All right, <coughs> take that. Oh, make another horse noise. <laughs> I'm clearing my throat. Calm the hell down. Horse noise competition from the video crew. There you go. 
<laughs> what did you start? Uh, what did I, I start? All right, we're going to do this side, which is going to be just as thrilling as the other side was. So we'll be back after 10 more minutes of abusing him off camera. Mm. All right, so we've done, this is the primary wrapping. Spin it. Spin it. Spin it. I'll throw this on like roulette. <laughs> Where is it? I have no idea. Ah, I found it. Yeah, that, that, that was a way better idea in your head. Okay. House wins. Odds of roulette, one in 23. All right, so this is the primary wrapping. You'll see that you'll get, it, nothing's perfect because this is one of those things that when you, when you start out, you really care. And by the time you get all the way around, you don't because <coughs> the dog's on the table and everybody's making fart jokes. Um, so Look at all the hair. once you get the main coating done, then you tear off a bunch of little pieces and fill all the gaps because you want to fill all the gaps. It doesn't really matter electrically, but here, just start filling gaps. I'm going to cut off a bunch of little ones at about... Well, do you want me to rip these into pieces? Yeah. How? Halves? Thirds? Whatever. I trust you. It's a joke. No, you don't. It's a ju no, I don't. Not even a little bit because, well, you're known to steal for one. I'm not. You do. There it is, finished and beautiful. It still needs smoothing, but somebody forgot to bring spoons. So we're going to do off-camera smoothing, and that'll just magically happen. But that is how you make a low-budget, simple, fake spun aluminum toroid, and this will work just fine for a Tesla coil. Yay. So we can take this and grab... There you go. There's cool. your toroid. Now it's starting to like actually resemble a Tesla coil, so you can do all the smoothing. We'll get you, we'll get you an acorn nut. Find an acorn nut. Okay. I, I, just, I don't know what the threading is, so you have to like take this to no idea Coochie's Hardware and get an acorn nut, because we don't have that in stock. So, yeah. so I have to lug this thing around now? Yeah, oh, totally. Great. It's going to get crushed in it, my backseat. They all die eventually. It, it's going to die lifetime. before we fire it off. At our current rate, that's entirely possible. <laughs> yeah, this didn't even straighten all the way out. It'll work fine. Just tell them that that's like an electromagnetic lens. Okay. Wait, I'm so I have to that. take the whole thing? It's an electromagnetic Fresnel. Yeah, to, to get that, that bolt thread, you'll have to take the whole thing into Coochie's hard. Not just this, this? Yeah, you'll need, you'll need the whole thing. Wonderful. For balance. <laughs> Are we done? We're done. I, I knew you. You guys have fun. I'm Chris Bowden. And I'm... <laughs> you guys have fun. I'm Chris Bowden. And I'm Trevor Kenyon. We want to thank you for watching today's video about Tessa Coils and puppies. And... Uh... <laughs> I don't think you were taking I like a puppies. Uh, <laughs> I like puppies. Ah. All right. You guys have fun. I'm Chris Bowden. And I'm Trevor Kenyon. We will see you next week with more fun and adventure when we do... MMCs! Your caps came. Yeah. Yeah, these that. are your capacitors. Yeah. So we've got to get the resistors. So you need to send me a Facebook message reminding me to send you what value your resistor to get. Because I think it's half watt, 10 mega ohm, but I want to be 100%. Okay. So, yeah. All right. We'll see you next time. This video was made possible by a grant from the Future Girl Foundation. This video was made possible by thousands of private donations from members and viewers like you please visit thegeekgroup.org for more information on how you can donate and become a part of our dreams of Avalon.